In the Bible, it talks about how our time here on earth is not meant to be easy. We're meant to go through struggles and we're meant to go through things. There's always so much that I have to do before I'm able to leave the house. How precious are these hats? Look how beautiful their eyes are. So this is all the Pillow Fort brand from Target. Are you ready to eat? Jackson, are you so hungry? Oh my goodness. Mama make you a bobble? Yeah. Bring me your cup and I'll make you some juice. Thank you. We just had some pancakes this morning and then these are just the extra ones that I'm gonna save and then they can eat these tomorrow. good morning welcome back to my channel so I am feeling super overwhelmed today <laughs> in one of my last videos I talked about mom burnout how I've just been feeling kind of burnt out lately and I'm still feeling that way because ultimately if you don't get a break or a vacation or just a break from reality then your burnout just really isn't gonna go away I've thought maybe that me and Eric should just like get one of the grandparents to watch the kiddos and just me and him go have time out to like out to dinner or something because we haven't done that in months i can't tell you the last time it was just me and him that went out and i really feel like i need just that break for myself so like even if you can't go on a vacation you can't afford to go on a vacation or it's just not a good time to go on a vacation or have someone take your kids which i don't want to be away from my baby i've never wanted to leave any of my babies until they were older at least toddlers because I have really bad anxiety and all this stuff but sometimes you really just have to give yourself that break and just do it because you can't just be mom and dad all the time you have to be husband and wife too you can't just always be mama and daddy there's got to be husband and wife time too it's been about eight or nine months since I've had my highlights done and if you look in my bun like all my blonde highlights are in my bun but there's like none up here or anywhere because they're so grown out so I really need to go get my hair done so I actually did end up making myself a hair appointment all of y'all were telling me girl go get your hair done just do it just go get some time for yourself so I'm actually going to be going and getting my hair done Monday and I'm going to be taking the girls with me because they really need haircuts too I get their haircut like every six months but I've just been feeling so burnt out lately and overwhelmed especially today like I was not gonna vlog today but I'm actually getting ready because I'm gonna go run up to Target and pick up some necessities that we need I ordered some toilet paper and cleaning supplies that I've got to go pick up so I'll do a little haul whenever I get back and I also picked up the rest of the stuff for the kids bathroom I had done a kids bathroom makeover and it was on a budget so I got what I could afford at the time, but there was still some more that I wanted to get, like the soap dispenser that matches the shower curtain and the trash can that matches, like the whole little setup. So I'm gonna be able to complete that today. So I can't wait to see how that's gonna turn out for them. But I just feel like no matter how much I clean, and I feel like I clean all the time, that there's just always like just crap everywhere. I try to keep this house as clean as I can, as organized as I can, as tidy as I can, without overdoing it and just like feeling like haunts like Cinderella and constantly cleaning it's so hard to sit on top of the laundry with six people like there's laundry piled up all the time and I do laundry all the time I feel like I'm always folding and putting away clothes and then I turn around and then there's another full laundry basket of dirty clothes I have to run the dishwasher twice a day and then there's still a sink full of dishes overflowing it's insane but I just feel like there's just always crap everywhere and yes you have to give yourself grace and you just have to accept the mess sometime especially like in this chapter of our lives as moms because there's plenty of time when your kids are older to have a clean house there's plenty of time to always have the laundry done 
and just worry about yourself. There's plenty of time in the future for that. But for now, this is just the chapter of my life and I've just got to accept the mess and accept that no matter how much I clean, there's always going to be messes. But it just, it does get to a point where you just feel so overwhelmed and you just need a break. You just need some time for yourself. And that is completely fine and normal to feel like that. And it's no reason to have any like mom guilt or feel like you're not doing a good job just because you feel like you want a break or you just feel so overwhelmed with everything that you have to do. The title of a mom is not an easy job. Being a mom is the toughest job that I have ever personally had and I've worked. I've had several jobs. Also, I wanted to put my nails on today. I got to kiss everlasting nails that I've shared with y'all before in previous videos and I was going to put these on today and I've looked everywhere and I cannot find my nail bond. So these do come with like little nail strips that you can apply on your nails. Um, it says it comes with glue but the nail bond works so much better and I don't want to put these on and they just pop off next week. Whenever I use nail bond, I order it off of Amazon. The nail bond keeps my nails on for like three weeks straight or until I want to pop them off. I don't know where my nail bond is, but I think I threw it away. So on top of feeling overwhelmed, I'm over here upset because I threw away my $12 bottle of nail bond. And I'm also wearing a new shirt. I told y'all that I've been trying to find myself some t-shirts before the summertime. Um, this one says sunshine multiple times in different colors. I think it's so pretty. But this is from Amazon and I'll link it below if y'all are interested in it. But it's just like a light pink color. They also have it in different colors with the sunshine print. And I just think it's really cute. But I have outgrown all of my clothes since I've had a Jackson. I've gotten bigger so none of my t-shirts fit me. And so I've got to buy myself some more clothes. So here and there as I can afford it I'll just buy myself like a new t-shirt or a couple of new t-shirts here and there. There's one last place I need to look. This is the last place I haven't looked yet for my nail bond. Yes! Hallelujah! It was in my little bag. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't throw this stuff away because this stuff is like $12 and it works so good. That is such a relief that I just found this nail bond. I really thought that I threw it away the last time I did my nails when I was cleaning up. I thought that I threw it away. So this is actually the new baby monitor that I got for my toddler's room. Arabella and Nolan both share a bedroom, so I was going to put this on their dresser so that way I can keep a better eye on them when they're in there at night and watch them directly from my phone. So from the first look of it, y'all, I absolutely love it. I love the way that the camera looks. So the features of this camera is 1080 full HD video quality, live stream, and watch recordings. You can check the temperature and the humidity on your smartphone. Supports motion detection. It has real-time notifications to your phone, night vision detecting, supports remote pan and tilt control, support two-way audio communication straight from your phone so that I can speak to them 
through the baby monitor from my phone. It also runs through a Wi-Fi and you can share a live video with your family. You can use this baby monitor as a baby monitor, a pet monitor, secure your retail store, use it in your home to secure your home as a security camera. So I ended up setting up the camera over here on Arabella's side of the room. Once the app is downloaded, you can choose what camera or device you are using and I named it Kids Camera. So I'll just click on that and as you can see me standing here, this is what the camera sees. I can see Bella's bed, I can see Nolan's bed, as well as the entire room. And I can talk to them, so I can click on that and talk to them through the camera. I can record them. There's all kind of features that you can do on this baby monitor camera. And you can also turn and tilt and pan this camera directly from your phone. And you can also make this go full screen. And then this is the way that you can turn the camera. You just click these arrows and it will turn the camera all kind of ways. So for the Eggloo app, you just download the app, you can tap on it, you are going to log in, and I have it where it will automatically log in so I don't have to log in every time, and then I just click on kids camera, and it's gonna show me the kiddos room, and as you can see, it's a disaster, but I have it sitting up on Arabella's corner on her toy organizer, and it's pointing towards the bed, so I can see both of their beds as well as the entire room. It also has a feed here where I can go back and I can see what they did at like 2 o'clock in the morning, midnight, or if they're in the room and something happens that I didn't see, like a fight or something, that I can go back and I can see who was lying, who was telling the truth, and what really happened. So that's another perk of this baby monitor. So this is the live feed, and then this is the thread of recordings, the playback from overnight. So this is obviously a different baby monitor that I have in Jackson's nursery because his actually attaches to his crib. So I needed one that kind of like would sit on the dresser or you could mount it to the wall. So this does have an option if I want to mount it, but I'm going to see how they do with it sitting right here. I love that I can see the entire room. I can see both of their beds and it has night vision. So I'll be able to see them at night as well, but I'm going to make sure I leave the egg low baby monitor down below. You can use it for more than just the baby monitor. You can use it to secure your house to um, watch your pets while you're not home and you can also log into it while you are not at home and look through your camera while you're not at home so it just gives you a peace of mind but anyways I'm going to make sure that I link this baby monitor down below in my description box in case you guys are looking for a monitor for your home It's not my birthday yet, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of Don't love, feel like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list. 
always so much that I have to do before I'm able to leave the house. I feel like I can't just ever just slip my shoes on and go. I can never do that. But thankfully today I didn't have to load the kids up and bring them too because Eric is at home because it is a Saturday. And Adeline actually left and went with her friend. They went to the skating rink. So she's off at the skating rink having fun today. And I am just now getting to go head out to Target to pick up my order. And Zaxby's is turning into dinner instead of lunch because time got away from me. I was trying to clean up the house, tidy up a little bit before I left because I didn't want to come back to a disaster. I had to clean off the kitchen table from lunch i made them some bagels i got a lot tackled today jackson's taking a nap so eric's gonna stay home with bella and nolan and they're just gonna be hanging out with their daddy today while i go and run out and do these errands when i get back i'll do a little target haul and share with you guys everything i got but it's already four o'clock so i need to get my butt out there are these hats I got one for Jackson that he can't wear yet it's a little bit too big for him and then I got one for Nolan so these are just toddler size hats so it's just like a one size toddler size these hats are so precious but I'll link these down below in case you guys want to check them out for your littles let me see your beautiful outfit so cute. So cute. <laughs> Where are you going? Trampoline. The trampoline? Look how beautiful their eyes are. So pretty and blue. Let me see your beautiful eyes. Let's see Jackson's beautiful blue eyes. So handsome. So this is what's going on in the kids' bathroom now. So whenever I did their makeover video, I bought this shower curtain. It's pillow fort from Target. And it's so cute. It has these little tassels on it. And then I also bought them this rainbow rug and then also a pink rug that I'm just not a fan of anymore. And they also have like matching hand towels that go in this bathroom. So I have two of these like orange crazy colored ones and then I also have like blue and white striped ones. So these are the few cleaning supplies that I needed to pick up. I just picked up some Lysol toilet bowl cleaner, one for my bathroom, one for the kiddos bathroom. And then I picked up some more Clorox toilet wand refills. And then I also picked up another toilet wand starter kit for the kids bathroom because I feel like I will be on top of keeping the bathrooms cleaner if I have a toilet brush in each bathroom so I can just reach over, grab it, clean their toilet real fast and it's all in there and I don't have to worry about taking my caddy in their bathroom. So this is the whole caddy and the scrubbing pad just goes on the end of it and then you just scrub the toilet and it pops right off into the trash can. So I really love these. And then I just picked up a gigantic bag of Scott's toilet paper. This is the kids bathroom trash can. I have a stainless steel one in there right now but I hate the stainless steel in the bathroom because they just get so dusty. I don't know what it is but they just get so dusty. So this one matches their shower curtain. This is like a whole set that goes with the shower curtain. So this says wash your hands. It's a little soap dispenser. And then this is a rug to go in front of their sink that says squeaky clean that matches the rainbow rug that's already in there, the shower curtain. So everything's gonna match to get, match and go perfectly together. So this is all the Pillow Fort brand from Target. Genius. If y'all have a rockaroo or a mamaroo, you can actually like slide a toy on the toy bar. <laughs> I just slid it on. It's like a passy clip toy. I just slid it on there and then he can grab it. <laughs> yes, 
Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the mundane oh, oh, oh. And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise oh, 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 oh. And now there's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer We found this trampoline with a net for $50 on Facebook Marketplace. We had another trampoline without a net and I never let them jump on it. Okay, we're gonna go in and get something to drink. But we basically sold our old trampoline without the net for $50 and then we got this one for $50 on Facebook. So it's a win so the littles can jump. What's yeah. new in here? <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty? And, yeah, and it should Lovely, lovely, lovely. A. That's an A? Where's the C? Right there. Good job. That's a C. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They got soap in there. Yeah, there's soap in there so you can wash your hands. Yeah. You gonna wash your hands? You push the pump down. You gotta pump it down, okay. like your other soap. Mm -hmm. so I just gonna do this. Okay, you can pull it up so you can reach it. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, blue. It's blue. All right, now, uh, 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 just one pump. Oh, you love it? Yeah. You know what it says? Yeah. It says wash your hands. Yeah. Like your toothbrush holder, it says smile. Yeah, just wash my hands. Yeah, it says wash your hands. You can wash your hands. Mama, do. I got it. <laughs> really? You telling me about it? I love the way that the kids' bathroom turned out. They absolutely loved it. I can't wait for Addie to come home from her friends and she gets to see it whenever she comes home tomorrow. So the kids really loved it. I'm sure Adeline will love it too. Just the few new additions that match their shower curtain. It looks so cute in there. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And I'm not going to worry about any more messes. I've just been feeling so burnt out and so overwhelmed. And I do try to give myself grace. And I don't try to make myself perfect all the time. But I do like for it to be tidied and cleaned up at least by the end of the day so that we can start the next day with a clean house and that just really catches up to me after a while but I hate waking up the next day and the house is a wreck so I just force myself to clean it at night no matter how tired I am and I don't mean deep cleaning you know just like wiping down the kids bathroom sink or 
make sure all the dishes are done for the most part the kitchen's tidied up for breakfast the next morning it just makes my days start off so much more smoothly whenever we can start the day off in a clean house in the bible it talks about how our time here on earth is not meant to be easy it's we're meant to go through struggles and we're meant to go through things we just have to overcome them and keep our faith that everything will be okay are you telling him about it are you telling him about it my kindness Jackson's starting to get grumpy because he likes to go to bed. He starts fussing to go to bed around 7.30, 8 o'clock every night. He wants to go to bed. So he's starting to get grumpy. So I'm about to feed him and get him put down. But thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.